Hello then, welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2 with me, Stucco Gloss. How are you? And our Scania of Doom. No, it's not, it's uh, best truck in the world, look at it! Yeah, and it's got the dog with the pink lips. And the the crazy front teeth. Right, um, today we are going to be earning some more money. So we've got 80 grand on us, which is great. Uh, let's just check our where we are. And uh, do we need to rest? Yeah, we do, by the looks of it. Um, rest stop in one hour. So let's find somewhere to rest, and then we can choose ourselves a uh, a job. No, I can't remember how I got here. Do I need to? F uh, probably going the wrong way. There we go. So, how have you peeps been? I have been, uh, I've been well. I uh, hooked up with a few peeps on TS the other day, which is uh, good fun. Um, I'm going to try and uh, do that quite often. Uh, if you're not quite sure what TS is, it's um, the TeamSpeak server I've got on my website, www.stockagross.com. Uh, go check it out. It's a bit of fun. And uh, it's really nice sort of chatting to you a lot. Uh, now, I've... Uh, Got some shout outs to do. Which side of the road am I going on? This side, eh? No, this is not lights, is it? It's just a. There we go. Alright, I'm all over the shop. It's been a while since I've played this. Uh, okay, we need to. Maybe go in here to rest. Uh, yeah, so I've got a few shout outs and stuff to do after talking to them on TS. If you see me on uh, Facebook. Oh, if you're a Facebook friend of mine, then uh, you'll know when I come on TS. I'll try and give uh, everybody a bit of notice. Let's rest. Oh, wow, I was tired. Um, yeah, and, uh, and the good thing is, um, I don't know, I'll talk about it in a bit, actually. Uh, let's just get a, get a job. And let's get going. So we're at the hotel at the moment in Rotterdam or anywhere Liverpool. I think I did that last time, so I'll stop. Okay, <laughs> let's go to the job market and get some money. So we are in Rotterdam. Now I'm really interested in aluminium alkyls, 18 ton, to Duisburg. Have we been to Duisburg? That's not very far away, but we haven't been there, so that's a that's a good shout. Uh, sodium hippo. Alright. Where are we going? Aberdeen. Oh, we've never been to Aberdeen. That might be a that might be a good one. Uh, Dresden, some LPG. Okay. Uh, we've got Newcastle. There's Jewisburg again. What else have we got? Poznan, I know we've been to. Frankfurt, we've been to. Metz. We haven't been to Metz. That's only 10 grand though. We haven't got a lot, not a lot of money here. Poznan, but that's miles and miles and miles away. Um, we've got Dusseldorf, which isn't too far away. That's near Dresden, isn't it? Drewsburg. Um, Hamburg. We've never been to Hamburg. Do you know what? I think we're going to take the Hamburg Express. Because we haven't been to the top of here, look, you know, what country is this? This is, is it Hamburg? Is it, is it in Germany? Oh, probably. Yeah, we haven't been north Germany. Or should we go to Drews? No, we'll go to Hamburg. I think, yes, at least money, like £32 a mile. And we could be earning 50 quid a mile. Um... Okay, we're going to Aberdeen. Oh, Jewisburg. Oh, I can't make it. Oh. Yeah, Jewisburg. Because of arse farting. Let's go to Jewisburg. You've never been. It might be a... A little episode, but... Uh, whoa. Okay, I should have looked before I pulled out there. So, uh, as I was on about TS. Right, okay. Um, speaking to a few peeps on there. Uh... They've actually, 
what I wanted out of uh, my TeamSpeak server on my website was just a place that everybody can hook up, um, talk about gaming, um, you know, set up some multiplayer, um, whether it's farming sim or, or uh, Minecraft or you know other um, other games. That was a red light, and um, that was my plan really. So get you guys talking. Uh, become more of a sort of a gaming community, and uh, it's actually working. It's it's it's. After talking to a few people, you know, a lot of people, they're really pleased about how it's all set up, and um, you know, so a, a big shout out to uh, to Nick, uh, Ryan, Clark, Oscar, Cake the Cook, um, I think Matt, um, Brad. Uh, there's there's a few others, but um, I. Uh, <laughs> I might forget, um, but if I forgot, yeah, my apologies. Uh, you guys are awesome, and um, I look forward to uh, sort of getting onto TeamSpeak again fairly soon. Uh, so yeah, follow me on Facebook. I'll let you guys know when I'm on. Uh, I'll be on TS, and we'll just have, you know, we'll just have a chat. And uh, it's quite good actually because um, also, sorry, uh, uh, Thomas as well. I can't forget Thomas. Um, it's pretty good as well because you can see what the guys have been up to as a community. You know, they've got their own server, um, and I went onto the server to have a look, and it was, uh, yeah, it was really, really good. All right, let's go check our uh, no wrong one, wrong one. Beacon view. Okay. There we go. So we've got this uh, this big trailer thingy. I don't like these trailers. I, I prefer it if it was like um, all the way up to the truck, but uh, it isn't. There we go. We've got loads of lights on our our truck. Now um, a few people have been mentioning about uh, oh, my maps messed up. About um, maybe upgrading my truck, but uh, I'm, I'm, it's all about the money, honey. I'm just trying to save as much money as I can at the moment. And uh, we we'll look at upgrading fairly soon. Maybe uh, when we hit the next level, we'll upgrade. So yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about that because um, I'm really proud of that. It's something that so I wanted to happen, and it is happening. So so uh, no, thank you guys for for making it happen. That's that's, that's brilliant. Um, there has been one or two instances where people have been taking the mick on TS and um, being nasty to other people and, and you know, uh, just being silly. And uh, that disappoints me a little bit because, you know, we're, we're, all, we're all the same. Yeah, we all love our gaming. We're all a big community and um, it's just upsetting to hear that people are being like that. So I'm uh, I'm hoping I'm going to put some admins in place and you know there'll be some permanent bans going on if uh, if they spot it. <coughs> so otherwise I'll just turn it off. You know <laughs> I don't want to. I don't, I don't want to be the bad guy. Um, but if people are starting to uh, to abuse it, then um, unfortunately that's what's going to happen. Um, but uh, a good news story, you know, there has been a couple of uh, people who set up their Minecraft servers and, and farming, you know, they're doing farming uh, simulator m multiplayer, and it's great to see. So uh, get on there, you know, get in the community, sign up to the forums, and and, and meet them because uh, m the majority of the people that are on there are really, really, really good people. So I'm very proud of you. Thank you very much. What else were we doing? Well, Simulator 2013, Farming Simulator 2013 Season 2's kicked off. We uh, we're on our map and we've um, chosen where we're going to live. Got a bit of a backstory to it as well, which is uh, always adds to the uh, adds to the fun. I'm uh, quite pleased about how that's gone. Um, long time coming. I hear you shout. Yep. Uh, there's a bit of a twist with Feed the Beast as well, which is a bit of fun. And also I'm playing that Deadliest Catch. I've, uh, I'm a bit hooked on that. Get it? Hooked. Fishing. Deadliest Catch. Hooked. Fishing. <laughs> oh. 
worst joke ever. Okay, so what have you, what have you peeps been up to? Um, I know uh, I, I always talk about what what's happening with me on these uh, long truck journeys, but uh, leave in your comments. Let me know how you are, what you're doing, what you're up to. Have you got your Eurogamer ticket yet? If not, why not? I think they might be uh, selling out soon, so you haven't got long. Um, whoa! Jeez, that was uh, that was a little bit close. Um, yeah, if you want to know where you you just pull out, son. Yeah, well done. If you want to know where the Eurogamer is, it's in uh, Earl's Court in London. So if you can make it that weekend and you're in or around there, then uh, please pop on by. It'd be good to see you. We'll have a bit of a meet up and a chat. Uh, what else? Um. Well, I haven't really spoke about my dog lately, and I've had a few comments saying, um, "Hey, Stocko, you know, is your dog still okay? Uh, you haven't spoke about your dog. Yeah, my dog's still alive. Uh, <laughs> thanks for worrying about my dog. Uh, she, um, she's actually calmed down quite a bit. Uh, yeah, she starts. Um, I don't know if this is like, you know, all dogs are like it, but she starts howling." It, if you leave her downstairs, like, she's over one now, and you should be able to leave a dog downstairs on its own. But if you leave her downstairs and you go upstairs to, I, I don't know, have a wash or whatever, she howls like a wolf. Like this, and, um. It's really. I don't know, I feel really bad because it makes me laugh. Uh, I know she's, like, probably crying and, and, you know, she's really upset that we've gone upstairs. But I'm not going to ponder to her every need and, and run downstairs and go, Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, I was farting here. Uh, you know, just because she, um, just because she starts yowling. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't hear dogs sound like wolves very often. Um... Is that truck? No, I'm on the wrong side of the road. Whoa. Sorry. Um. Yeah. I, 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 is it normal for a dog to... Yowl. Yeah, she sounds just like... <laughs> she sounds just like that. Oh. Uh, yeah, so that's a bit weird. Uh, she started doing that. And, uh... My dog won't play fetch with me. Nah. I don't know how to teach a dog to play fetch. I thought it was one of those things. Yeah. yeah. You. Come on then, out the way. Oh, I'm me. I can't believe. I was stunned. AI. Out to get me yet again. Um. Talk about my dog. Yes, <laughs> she she won't play fetch. I thought dogs like when they're born, you, you know, part of their DNA is that they like to run and catch things. You know, oh, it might be a generic sh statement there on on dogs, but yeah. Oh, that's a bit dangerous, isn't it? Overtaken on a corner like that. Um, I throw something. She runs after it smells it and then walks away and then uh, other times I I, uh, I throw something she looks at me and then I have to go and pick it up so she must be thinking like oh you threw it you'll get it I don't know but uh, that's where we are at the moment with the dog I'm trying to teach her how to, how to, how to play fetch but um, it's really frustrating I think she'd really enjoy it you know, like most dogs do, it's, it'll wear them out. They like burning energy and, and yeah. And like, I'm out, out in the back garden. I'm playing, uh, you know, chucking a rugby pool. Uh, me and my nephew. The dog's not interested. Most dogs will go nuts trying to catch it and chew it up and put a hole in it. No, my dog just wants to bite your shoes that you're wearing or. Um, you know, just watch, just sit and just, just watch this ball go from... Whoa! Why have you... Why? Why did you break like that? Okay, it's going to be one of these episodes where the AI is, um... is going to make me crash. 
So I think we're coming from Belgium into Holland. I think. I think we're in Holland now. This car, really. So it's right down and then speeds back up again. We're okay with fuel. I think we could probably do with filling out with fuel. There we go. E. Enter. Yeah, we do need to get a bigger fuel tank. I think that will come though when we start upgrading our, uh, our lorry. We should be okay. Thank you all. That's like 500 quid. Wow. this car there we go we're off to see the wizard and uh, Luis Suarez well somebody left a comment in uh, one of my videos I'm not, I'm not quite sure which one but I'll uh, I'll answer it now um, I did see the uh, <laughs> the Luis Suarez incident uh, I am a Liverpool fan for my sins and um, yeah I, I guess he was a little bit hungry or, or something um, Yeah, it was a bit weird. Uh, ten ten games is a bit steep, though, for you know for a ban. I thought I know biting is like really really bad, and when you're younger, you know it's uh, something which is hopefully uh, you know taken away from you uh, when you're younger. It's really naughty to spit and to bite is is the worst thing you could probably do. Ten games though, for you know the potential uh, player of the year, uh, football player of the year. Oh, I think he's ruined it. I think he probably would have beat Bale to the to the uh, to the post for um, Premiership Player of the Year. Uh, yeah, is it player? Yeah, Football Player of the Year. FP. Yeah, I think or something. But uh, I know he was in. Uh, he was a top contender along with uh, Gareth Bale. But I think after biting somebody, <laughs> he might have uh, dented his chances a little bit of picking up that award. But never mind. It's always next year, Suarez. Don't worry. It makes you laugh, you know. If it was a if it was a Man United player or or Chelsea or Man City, you know, I'd have been like, oh god, you know, bloody terrible. But because um, he's a scouser, you kind of forgive him. Okay, we're gonna turn left here. Do you know what? I was actually driving. Well, that lorry's coming up pretty quick. Um, I was actually driving then. I didn't. I can't remember actually driving to this point, if that makes any sense at all. Like, you know in real life, a lot of people who, who drive, you, you'd probably know this, but you can kind of go on autopilot and just, just drive and, and not, not remember driving, if that makes sense. Uh, I do quite a lot of miles a year, um, you know, for my job, uh, and it happens quite a lot. Especially, especially at, you know, when you've had a, a busy day and you're driving back home, you know, sort of half five, six o'clock, yeah. Uh, that's the worst, you know, because you kind of really are on autopilot. All you're thinking about is just like getting home and having a shower, having something to eat, and yeah, it's scary. And another thing you do as a driver, which is like automatic, I think everybody does it. But if you're driving down the motorway, you know, obviously the legal limit is 70 miles an hour here in the UK, so we drive at 70 miles an hour everywhere on the motorway, I should say. And uh, you see a crash, like on the side of the road or. Uh, you do slow down to 60. <laughs> you know, like an automatic thing to see all these cars go, okay, I'm not going to go 70. I'm going to go 60 just to be a bit safer. Uh, isn't it weird? Uh, who was that? That was Oscar, wasn't it? 740 bucks. That's brilliant. We're 200 quid up from when we started. I think we started on uh, on 70,000. We've got a full tank of gas. We've got a tanker on the back. Looks good. Going past uh, Amsterdam. I'd like to go to Amsterdam one day. Uh, not not for the reasons why uh, you guys are thinking about now, because um, that's just naughty. But uh, I like to I like to go to Amsterdam. Just see all the sort of the canal works and, and the water and stuff, and um, you know, visit one or two. Uh, 
breweries. I know they've got a lot of breweries over there and stuff, which I'm quite interested in. I enjoy my uh, my alcohol intake, as you guys know. Talking of alcohol intake, I've got a wedding to go to today. Um, so I'll uh, be uh, very well lubricated in a few hours. Which I'm looking forward to. You know, you have a hard day at work. Oh, what was that sign? Was that. Uh, have I gone into a different country? I don't know whether I've gone into a different country or not. Uh, hmm. I might have gone into a different country. I've I, I just seen like a. You, you know, the European, like the. The blue sign with the stars, gold stars going around it. I think I've seen that sign as I was. Go I got I'm not a hundred percent sure, but uh, I'm hoping that SCS are going to be at the Eurogamer this year and um, do a bit of a preview because I know that they're, they're looking at uh, doing the American. Um, okay, uh, American truck driving, which should be. Which should be awesome, and uh, I'm definitely going to be playing that game and travel across America in the big, massive, huge rigs that they have over there, which puts our you know puts our rigs to shame, really. Um, I know they're expanding the uh, European map as well. So uh, I'm always keeping a, an ear to the ground. Another thing as well, which um, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping an ear to the ground, for, ground on, um, is the farming simulator servers, online servers. Now they've actually re uh, recently just reached their goal. Uh, it was on one of these, um, you know, these project things where people can, um, you know, contribute to and, and to raise a certain amount of money before it goes live. Well, they've actually hit their target now. I think it's like 112%. So that should be going live within the next uh, few months. And soon it, it, soon as it, you know, as soon as it does go live, we're, we're going to rent a server, and we're going to be playing farming simulator. We're going to have a multi-stream. I'm going to try and do a, you know, an eight-hour live multi-stream or something, or you know, to celebrate. It'll be nice and stable. Like, uh, oh, that's close. My computer won't melt like it did before. So um, I'm really, 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 really looking forward to when that's up and running. Uh, if you guys notice it before I do that, it's up and running. Uh, please leave a comment, and I'll pick it up, and uh, I'll get the ball rolling and organise it. It's been a while since we've done a live stream, so. But it's nice when the uh, when the server is held somewhere else. You know, it just takes the uh, pressure off my poor old computer. It's starting to make a bit of noise at the moment, actually. You know, like the fan bearings or something. Uh, something's going on. Oh, why did you stop like that? Stop breaking! Ah. How many times have I nearly gone into the back of somebody? I wonder if the AI can ever go in the back of me. Let me just try and break really suddenly. No, it won't go in the back of me. I don't recommend uh, trying that in real life, peeps. Okay, it's all black. Let's go. Oh, what's this? 680 quid, Marianne. Brilliant. Well done, Marianne. Oh, and uh, she's leveled up as well. Perfect. I actually need to check out the levels of uh, my crew and see where they are. We'll we do that when we uh, reach our uh, destination. Which we're only uh, 16 miles away, so it's a fairly short uh, journey, which makes a change. Normally they're over an hour long. I have to split it in between uh, two episodes, but uh. I had um, a works presentation the other day, which uh, w well, I spent hours and hours and hours on this uh, PowerPoint presentation. I, I made it all squirrely and I had the graphs and. And to be honest, it looked, you know, the dogs, you know, the nuts and nuts, it, it, it looked uh, really, really, really good. So, I was really proud of it. 
it come over to the uh, you know the time of the presentation. They said, "Come on in, Stocko." They didn't actually say Stocko, but um, they said, "Come on, Stocko, gloss is your turn." Yeah, no problem. So I plugged in my uh, my USB dongle, uh, loaded up my uh, presentation on PowerPoint. You know, click on the slideshow, and uh, it messed up, didn't it? You know, so all the swirly bits, all my graphs, all, all the all the work I put in. Oh no, it was corrupted. So, I, yeah, I was a bit disappointed with that. But even though it wasn't just mine, I think it was the uh, the laptop I was using. It was um, my uh, my boss's laptop, and somebody went on after me, and his presentation was uh, was messed up worse than mine. So, I felt a bit better about that. But still, you know, like six hours doing a presentation for it to not work kind of cheesed me off a little bit, but. Never mind. It went well. They they got they got the idea. Right, we're in uh, Dewey's Duisburg, Duisburg, Dewey, Deweyberg, Deweyberg. I think Wolfgang is, is a brilliant German name, isn't it? It just sounds really manly. Like Wolfgang. Yeah, you know, you, you know, you're going to be a, a, an actor or a, um, a movie star or something with a name called Wolfgang, or a CEO, or a president of a, a dog grooming company or something. You know, um, talking to CEO, I've been playing Eve again, Eve Online. I know some of you play it. Yeah. I went out into uh, zero zero space the other day with my um, what was I flying? A hurricane. I was flying a hurricane with uh, 720 Artis. Yeah, my first space battle in uh, in a while. I got popped first, so I took the Pod Express and I thought, "Yep, yeah, welcome to zero zero. <laughs> uh, well, it looks like we're going to BP. I'll drop this uh, tank off the BP." There we go. I'm not even going to try and park it up. Actually, we've got a bit of time. Let's try and park this baby up. Okay, I've got a bit quiet because I'm concentrating. Oh, no, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, job completed. Excellent. Al aluminium, not aluminium. 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 Al Al Kegels. Delivered from Rotterdam to Duisburg. 209 miles. It's taken us 5 hours 15 minutes. And uh, we consume quite a bit of fuel. So there we go. We've got 11 grand after that. And we got a bit of XP. Awesome. So, let's check on our team. Company manager. Let's check out our drivers. So, Marianne, you've uh, you've leveled up a few times. What are you leveling? Long distance. Okay. Uh, go for balanced, I think. That's long distance. She got two in that. She got two in fragile. How much are you earning? Average profit per different. Uh, <laughs> what did I just say? Average profit per distance, three pound thirteen a mile. Average profit a day, seven hundred and sixty-six. Joshua, two grand a day. Yeah, you just keep. Uh, so, so to Pratica. You're working on your long distance. That's good. Oscar, you're on three grand a day. Brilliantly. Uh, high value cargo, which is that there, I think. That's. Fragile, high value. Yeah, so you're working on that. Uh, high value, long distance, balanced. What's this one? I think that's uh, the ADR, isn't it? Okay. Look at us, we're making like 16 grand a day. Because I say pro we are. Uh, productivity 80%, eight, that's not too bad. Okay, well, let's check out our. 
Well, I'm a bit gutted because we had 80 grand when we first started. And uh, after today, we've got 82 grand. Let's check the bank. I know we checked this last episode, but yeah, we've got, we've got loads to do. Uh, and that's it. Okay, well, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Soccer Gloss. This is Euro Truck Simulator 2. Hope you've enjoyed it. Ciao for now.